Dear students, now we are going to solve important problems in half wave rectifier. Before going to solve the problems, let's discuss important formulas to be used in this half wave rectifier. As we all know that the input AC signal given to the rectifier circuit is represented as Vm sin omega t or Vm cos omega t. Here this Vm is nothing but the maximum voltage at the input side. From this we can obtain the maximum current Im is equal to Vm by the load resistor. So next average values are DC values. Here Vdc is equal to Vm by pi. Idc is equal to Im by pi. So next one is RMS values. RMS means here it represents the AC signal. So Vrms is equal to Vm by 2. Irms is equal to Im by 2. So next one is efficiency. It is defined as the ratio of the DC output power to AC input power. This can be obtained by using the formula VDC IDC by VRMS IRMS. That is VDC into VDC divided by RL. So here this IDC is replaced with this VDC divided by RL. Similarly here it is VRMS into VRMS divided by RL. Okay then this RL RL cancel then we can get VDC squared by VRMS squared. Okay, this is an another formula for this efficiency. So next one is ripple factor that is equal to square root of VRMS by VDC the whole squared minus 1 or we can represent in terms of current that is square root of IRMS divided by IDC the whole squared minus 1. Its value is always 1.21 for half wave rectifier. Okay, so next transformer utilization factor that is TUF that is equal to the ratio of the DC output power to the rated AC power that is equal to IDC VDC by Vm by square root 2 Im by 2 okay and the last one is peak inverse voltage that is nothing but the maximum voltage of the input signal okay so let's take the first problem a half wave rectifier circuit is supplied from a 230 volt 50 hertz supply with a step down transformer ratio 3 is to 1 to a resistive load of 10 kilo ohm. The diode forward resistance is 75 ohm while the transformer secondary resistance is 10 ohm. Calculate the maximum average RMS values of voltage and current efficiency and ripple factor. So in the solution part first we have to write the given data. So here the supply voltage 230 volt is given to the primary winding of the transformer. Correct. So here this is the primary winding input or voltage that is what 230 volt. Okay. So next one is the step down ratio is 3 is to 1. So here we can get the step down ratio as 3 is to 1. To a resistive load the resistive load value is what? 10 kilo ohm. RL is given as well as the diode. Okay, so here we are having the diode resistance that is what? 75 ohm. Okay, and also we are having the secondary resistance that is RS is equal to 10 ohm. This all are the given data. Okay, so here primary winding voltage is equal to 230 volt. Step down ratio is equal to 3 is to 1. RL is equal to 10 kilo ohm. Here forward resistance is 75 ohm. Then secondary resistance is 10 ohm. We are going to find out this maximum DC, RMS, efficiency and ripple values. Okay. So first we are going to find out the maximum voltage. So for that we have to consider the primary winding voltage. Because the secondary voltage can be obtained by dividing the maximum or the primary voltage by the step down ratio here the step down ratio is 3 is to 1 then we can get the secondary voltage in terms of RMS that is equal to 76.667 volt from this we can obtain the maximum value of the secondary voltage that is Vm is equal to square root 2 into the secondary voltage 76.667 then we can get the maximum voltage as 108.423 volt. From this we can obtain the 
maximum current value. As we all know that according to Ohm's law, current is equal to what? V by R. So here we have to consider this Vm. Three resistance values are given. So we have to take this three resistance value as series. So forward resistance plus secondary resistance plus the load resistance. Okay. So next we have to substitute the values of Vm, RL, RS and RF in this formula. Then we can get the maximum current is equal to 108.423 divided by 10 into 10 to the power 3. That is the load resistance value plus 10 plus 75. Then we can get answer as 10.75 milliamps. This is the maximum current value. Okay. So after getting the maximum voltage and current, then we can easily find out the average or DC values. Here the formula is VDC is equal to Vm by pi, IDC is equal to Im by pi. We can simply substitute Vm and Im values in this formula. So VDC is equal to 108.423 divided by pi. That answer is 34.5 volt. Here IDC is equal to Im by pi. Here Im is 10.75 milli. That is 10 to the power minus 3 divided by pi. Then we can get IDC as 3.422 milliamps. Okay. So the next one is RMS values of voltage and current. Here VRMS is equal to Vm by 2. IRMS is equal to Im by 2. Simply substitute these values. Then we can get VRMS is equal to 54.21 volt. IRMS is equal to 5.375 milliamps. Okay. Next we are going to find out the efficiency in terms of percentage. So it is the ratio of DC output power to AC input power multiplied with 100. So first we are going to find out the DC output power using the formula VDC into IDC. Simply substitute those values here 34.5 multiplied with 3.422 into 10 to the power minus 3. Then we can get the DC output power value as 0 0.118 watts. Okay. Then we can obtain. The AC input power that is equal to VRMS into IRMS. Then we can substitute those values here. 54.21 IRMS value is 5.375 into 20 to the power minus 3. Then we can get the AC input power as 0 0.291 watts. Okay. We have to substitute this DC power and AC power in this efficiency formula. Then we can get the efficiency as 40.55 percentage. Okay. Do you all understand this one? Next we are going to find out the ripple factor. Here the formula is square root of VRMS by VDC the whole square in minus 1. We have to substitute those values here. Then we can get the answer as 1.21. You have to remember this ripple factor for half wave rectifier is always 1.21. Okay. The next problem, a voltage of 200 cos omega t is applied to half wave rectifier with a load resistance of 5 kilo ohm. Find the maximum values, RMS values of voltage and current, efficiency, ripple factor and transformer utilization factor that is tough. Okay, so this problem is very important one. So in the solution part first we have to write the given data. In this problem, they have given the input signal as such. So this is the format Vm cos omega t. So here Vm is nothing but 200 volt. And the load resistance value is 5 kilo ohm. Okay, these two values are directly given. Okay, so first we are going to find out the maximum values. Here Vm is equal to 200 volt. Then we can obtain the maximum current by dividing this Vm by the load resistance. Then we can get 200 divided by 5 into 10 to the power 3. We can get 40 milliamps as maximum current. Do you all understand this one? So after getting this Vm and Im, it is easy to find out RMS values of voltage and current. Because VRMS is equal to what? Vm by 2. IRMS is equal to Im by 2. Then we can get the VRMS value as 100 volt. IRMS value as 20 milliamps. Okay. So next we are going to find out the average values are DC values. So here VDC is equal to Vm by pi. That is equal to 200 pi pi. That value is 63.66 volt. 
This is the DC voltage value. Okay. Next we are going to obtain the DC current value that is equal to IM by pi. So here we have to substitute IM value is 40 into 10 to the power minus 3 divided by pi. Then we can get the DC current value as 12.73 milliamps. Okay. So next we are going to find out the efficiency. Eta is equal to the ratio of DC output power to AC input power. So here we can get the AC input power as VRMS multiplied with IRMS that value as 2 watts. Similarly we can get DC output power as IDC into VDC then the answer is 0.81 watts. Okay. We have to use these two values in this formula then the efficiency is equal to 0.81 divided by 2 into 100 because efficiency is always represented in terms of percentage. Then we can get the efficiency as 40.5 percentage. Okay. Next one is ripple factor. Here the formula is gamma is equal to square root of VRMS by VDC the whole square minus 1. So here VRMS is 100, VDC is 63.66, the whole square minus 1. Then the answer is 1.21. As I told you the ripple factor for this half wave rectifier is always 1.21. To one. Okay. Next one is transformer utilization factor that is equal to the ratio of DC output power to the rated AC input power. The rated AC input power is given as Vm by square root 2 into Im by 2. Okay. Then we can find out this rated AC power by substituting this Vm and Im values in this one. Then we can get 200 by square root 2 into 40 into 10 to the power minus 3 by 2. That is equal to 2.828. So this is what secondary winding AC power. Okay. So next we can substitute this value in this formula. Tough is equal to DC power is 0.81 that we have already calculated divided by 2.828. Then we can get the transformer utilization factor as 0.2863. In terms of percentage we can say 28.63% transformer is utilized. There is one more parameter that is what peak inverse voltage. Here the peak inverse voltage is nothing but the maximum reverse voltage. So here we can consider only the magnitude. So the peak inverse voltage for this half wave rectifier is maximum voltage. Here it is 200 volt. Okay.